Love to welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. We have a special treat for you. We have the uh, CEO, founder and CEO of Secure Private Data here. He is one of the hardest working men in the business, no doubt about it. Uh, second time back on the channel. Elaine, it's very good to have you back. Very busy with the company here, coming on to update us on the progress. Uh, it is rapid. So great to see you again, my friend. Please update the community here on progress that you've got going on at Secure Private Data. Thank you, Ryan. And thanks, everyone, for watching. So yes, we've done uh, quite a lot since last time. Uh, we're going to start to talk about our, our Q1, which just came out today. Um, essentially, well, let me backtrack a little bit. So back in 2021, uh, we had a good year. We raised a lot of money. We developed a secure uh, product line, which basically unified the brand of our various product. We had a data backup system called Digital Safe, our messaging called Private Talk. We rebranded all of that so that in 2021, as of the end of July, we started to sell uh, to the mass market in the US our secure private secure uh, communication solution. So. We had secure, which is a bundle of the messaging and the email, or you had the messenger. So now what we do is we have the email as itself as well. So in the last, let's say the last quarter or so, uh, since the beginning of the year, we've released secure mail, which is an email on its own. So now if you go to secure.com, you can buy the combo for 10 bucks a month or just the email for seven or just the messenger for five. We also released business services so if you're a business and you have your own domain name you can migrate to us instead of going to big tech and being data mined and your data going overseas to competitive countries that are not us friendly you know stealing all our r d and the trillions of dollars that small businesses and large businesses spend on uh, medical research technological research this is big front and center right now uh, because you have countries that are basically siphoning off our data in the US and copying the technology. So you don't have to spend the trillions of dollars in research. So that's a huge thing. Now you have energy, right? Energy is a big business. I was reading an article, I think it was on Zero Hedge, which is a kind of a famous website uh, that has pretty, it's, it's not your typical mainstream site. Uh, they have a thing on energy and how natural gas is going to go up. And one of the risks of energy company is cyber attack because they got a ton of cyber attack uh, that steals their information, uh, detracts them, and that basically affects the production, which affects your wallet and my wallet when we go pump gas in the station. You know, so cyber attack is is related to to everything. Now, some people might say, "Well, I have nothing to hide. I'm not going to be hacked." It's not about that. It's about people stealing your data without. Uh, your approval or maybe with your approval if not you can't even use the solution so now going back to our business solution now a business can have a choice instead of going to a big tech email uh, or messaging app you can go to us swiss hosted no big tech proprietary platform and you have actually a better service we also offer a hundred gigabyte for our email and now you can also do the secure send email which is sending an email to anybody in the world uh, without the recipient's isp being able to see the content or a hacker going in between yeah, i recommend everyone to go to secure.com and go to our support and video tutorial and you can go to uh, how to use secure secure send and it'll show you how the whole thing works but this is a big thing launching our business services is uh, part one of a big launch that we're going to do in September. Now, we also just launched chat by invite. So if you use secure messenger and another person doesn't, because obviously we're not a trillion dollar company like Facebook uh, that has WhatsApp, for example. So no, not a billion people use our product. But if you have secure messenger and you want to chat with me, Ryan, you can just SMS me right from your address book. I get a text, I click, and it opens the portal to our Swiss hosted servers in Switzerland. So let's say I'm in New York, I chat with you, now suddenly I'm in Switzerland, and you're you know, potentially whatever in Philadelphia, now you're also in Switzerland, and we can both chat, even if I don't have secure messenger, which is a huge thing, because 
if you text, if you chat with anyone, the other person needs the same system. Yeah. We're the only system in the globe now that offers a complete freedom to chat with whoever you want, with full privacy, without having big tech or authorities spying on you. Like the European Union, for example, they're just passing a law now that they're just gonna spy on all the chat and social media, and you have to monitor this and monitor that, and the excuse is that they want to try to prevent child pornography. And since when do they even suddenly becoming a big issue? Of course, it's been an issue forever, you know, for, for decades, probably for a century, for all we know. But now they're using these kind of excuses to essentially read all our content, spy on everything, and monitor what we say about different topics, whether it's the war in Ukraine or vaccines or some political thing that you may have an opinion, which you're allowed to have normally, and then the prevailing uh, government political party wouldn't want you to have. So it's exactly like the Chinese uh, social um, social cred uh, credit score, where they monitor you, right? If you suddenly you're not a good citizen, you may not even hop into a train. You may not get a good insurance rate for your car. You may not get a job. That's what's happening in China. This is what the EU is doing now with that law. And there's other countries like that. So we are the only company left pretty much because we don't use those big in, big tech in, in, environment. We have our own encryption, our own environment, and we're hosted only in Switzerland, which is not part of the European Union. So we're launching Chat by Invite with 19 countries. We're gonna add more countries. We've also started launching Secure Messenger in Latin America. Uh, things are picking up a little bit. It'll take some time. But as an emerging market, Latin America has half a billion people. It's right in the southern borders of the US, so it's very accessible. And it's an easy market to deal with, a lot easier than going, let's say, to Africa or Middle East and places like that. So for us, as a bonus, it's great to have that emerging market potential growth. But you know, the US is our biggest market right now. So we've launched these business services um we are also working on a few other things for the rest of the year like encrypted voice encrypted video that's coming back you for now financially speaking we're in good shape we raised a lot of money last year we did a last raise in april of 2022 about uh six seven hundred thousand us dollars at 28 cents us 35 cents canadian with a full warrant for two years at, at 56 cents US. Mm -hmm. So the warrant was 100% above the strike price of the stock. I should say that when we did raise that money, we raised it 20% above market price at that time. Uh, so it was pretty good considering the market that has been horrific. Um, you know, we're not one to look at our stock price every day and, and really monitor the company. I mean, the business is what matters. You know, if, if I didn't open my TV, and I just look at the metrics on the business, business is booming, but then you look at the TV and everybody's, the whole thing is falling apart, right? <laughs> you know, just raise your 2% interest rates already and leave us alone and then we can get back on track. But I think what's happening is there's a rotation. There was a whole crypto guys. There's a lot of money that went for fast gain that now disappeared, a lot of margin. So there's a lot of factor that makes it that the market is correcting. I've seen five crashes in my life and this will pass. The main thing is if you're investing in a business, you want to make sure that they have enough cash until they're profitable and that they have a growing business, which is what we have. And we have no debt. So we have about five, five and a half million US dollar in the bank, 7 million Canadian as of May 25th, 2022, and no debt. Uh, all our expenses, including me, paid up. Our Q1 showed $89,000 of revenue for Q1, as opposed to a year ago, $8,000. Obviously, we're spending a lot of marketing money. We spent a million and a half uh, Canadian dollars on that. But what you need to know about the marketing, marketing is also branding. And we're actually phasing out some of it. We're reducing by 150,000 a month US our branding costs as of July onward. So we're reducing our burn rate and we're increasing more the, the targeted kind of marketing 
of client acquisition costs. We have increased our user base every month, every quarter they increase, uh, and every quarter um, so far has been better than the previous one in terms of revenue. And we are probably, I'm gonna be conservative and I'm gonna say by Q1 of next year, we are operationally profitable. That's what we predict. Now, what it means is that um, we will have enough subscriber to pay for our all our operations. Now, that does not include if we spend 200,000 a month on marketing to acquire a customer. And if your client acquisition cost is 100, 150 or 50, whatever it may be, um, you know, we have internal formulas that we use just to be conservative. We say it's gonna cost us $120 US for client acquisition in a year. I'm sure it's gonna be less than that. So if we spend $120,000 a month, then we gain another thousand people a month, right? That will pay us at least uh, $12 each a month. So it's a great return and the cost of acquisition, we wanna lower it. So we've done a tremendous amount of work in uh, product improvement, product release. Uh, we've maintained the cash balance extremely well. Um, some of you guys can go to cedar.com, which is where Canadian investments uh, are. We are going to upload it on the OTC QX, uh, OTC market, our financial, literally they came out two hours ago. So we'll upload them uh, this, this week. And then you can go to OTC market, take a look at our quarterlies and you'll see all the financials. And you will see that the money that we had at the end of March, uh, we actually have almost the same today, a little bit less, because we did raise that money in April. So we're in good hands. Now, we also did get upgraded to OTC QX markets. And that's a huge thing, I have to say, because OTC QX, you need minimum two years of operation. So it's not like you can be a shell company and go on QB and have 20 million in the bank, which would be great. But if you have no operation, you can also burn 20 million. We don't know what kind of business you're in. So two years of operation minimum. And I think the requirement is minimum $3 million in hard asset. We had a lot more than that. So we're very happy. And you need to maintain a 25 cents US price. I think we're hovering in those ranges, but that's considering the market that has been nonstop beating on everyone we have suffered as well but i have to say not nearly as much as some of well a lot of companies out there that are listed that suffer tremendously so we were able to maintain a floor and we're we're trading around that floor but what's important is our revenues are going up every month so yeah, last but not least uh, and then, you know, of course, you're going to ask me a bunch of questions, but we also have engaged a bank to go and uplist to NASDAQ. Now, we're not going to make a, a formal press release because you don't know if you're accepted, right? So you right. don't make a press release until it's done. But I can tell you that I have several institutions wanting to participate in the offering. And the big thing is that they say that we have a great business, recurring revenue, a very timely, right? this is cybersecurity, privacy, it's like front and center, and we have cash in the bank, no debt, no toxic funding, and they love it. It's not every day that they run into companies like ours. Usually in that mid-tier type, small cap, they get businesses that are really desperate for cash. A lot of time they do what they call a bridge financing until they get into NASDAQ. We're not, we're ref I just refused one last week, actually. I was in New York. Um, and now I have probably three banks lined up, including our lead bank. And I'm, I'm trying to get everybody in, but there won't be room for everyone because we're not going to raise unlimited amount of funds because we're concerned about dilution as well. Sure. So, you know, me being the largest shareholder, I'm the best friend of all our shareholders because I don't want to be diluted as well to no end. So we're going to raise just enough capital to basically accelerate the growth. We also have about $6 million of warrants next year in our company, 6 million US, that should things evolve as they should, we're very confident that they'll be exercised. So the capital structure of the company is excellent. And 
by the end of the year, we would have tweaked to figure out what's the best way, what's the cheapest way to acquire a customer, whether it's direct marketing, digital, email, et cetera. And then we'll have an idea and then we say, okay, now it's just a plug and play. You, you get $10 million, you get X amount of customer. You get 20 million, you get that many. You know, so, you know, so we're pretty happy. We're very careful, obviously, with the cash now. It's just, you know, we, we put a freeze on some new stuff, actually. We're happy with how we're functioning right now for the summer. We plan to release an email application uh, or secure mail app on its own. It's being released at the end of June. And then we'll do some more improvements over the summer. And the big thing is that after Labor Day, we plan to go ballistic and push on small businesses in the US, whether it's email, ads, I mean, digital, anything. So we're kind of preparing the foundation of all of that. Uh, we've also shipped about 800 grand of machines in Switzerland. We're hooking up our services to those machines. By the end of June, all our services will be hooked up to the new machine. That means better performance, of course, more capacity. We can have like, you know, millions of people on our messenger. So we've done a lot since what a couple months ago, three months ago. I forgot where it was, but maybe earlier in the year, we've done tremendous amount of work. I think one thing I'll be looking at, Elaine, is your cost to acquire new customers should go down over time as you get the organic growth. These new subscribers that you've been able to accelerate, uh, and I'd like you to share the numbers with the community and where we are compared to last year. I think you're a couple thousand percent year over year growth and your subscriber growth. Very impressive there. That cost to acquire should go down over time. Word of mouth and the snowball effect is going to pick up because here's the thing, Elaine securing people's data now and businesses data now is an investment that needs to happen right now. There's no yeah. waiting. So the longer you're with the ecosystem of the secure product, the more you have the chance of your uh, data being protected. And therefore it's less likely of incurring a cyber attack. Now, if I'm an individual, it, it's just for me, but for a business that represents hundreds and thousands of employees, this is a must and it's a must for right now. So I agree with you. We're not in too big of a hurry right now, but I would like you to, to comment on the critics out there that would say, why do I need to pay for a service like the secure suite and ecosystem? I can just go and I can get free Gmail. I can use Amazon web services. I can get a, a domain hosting. Why do I need to go to secure uh, when I can just get it for free? And my second question is what's to keep Elaine Guy from, you know, taking my data and just selling it to, to just like everybody else does, because that data holds significant value. What makes you significantly different than the big tech, Elaine? Those are good questions. So going back to our growth and then I'll address those two questions. So <clears throat> the cost of acquisition is going to go lower two ways. First of all, organically, as you mentioned, but also we're doing some studies and then we have to really apply it over late summer. Email marketing works really well. And if by looking at the metrics of the click rate and the open rate and the click to open rate, et cetera, we're looking at a dramatically lower cost of acquisition. It's so low that I, it seems too good to be true. And we're going to test it obviously, but if, if we can even get, you know, and a dream come true is anything under a hundred dollar. We're laughing all the way to the bank because yes. that's just an amazing return. Some of the email ones looks like it could be 40, $50, $30, but we'll have to see. But over time, as you said, it's going to go lower regardless. Now, um, the growth in customers. So a year to date, so a year ago today, and then compared to this year are new subscriber so that's not total but new subscribers is up 1300 percent so from january 2021 to what may 25th 21 if you compare that to today january to may 25th 2022 the growth of the new subscriber is up 1300 percent our um our net sales are up over four thousand percent um net sales is gross minus any refund or credit card processing obviously um and we have today 
So we have two measures. So we measure the recurring revenue subscribers that have been at least, let's say, 45 days in the system. Yep. And then we have people who paid up before, but some of them may have canceled or they're just brand new. They're not yet 60 days. So recurring revenue, full price, not through business to business because we have partnership. We've got about 500 people through partnership. So direct to customer could be a small business or a consumer. We're at uh, about 3,520 users. So every month it goes up. So we have over 3,500 monthly recurring customer, full price. Then we have another 500 that we have through a partnership that's also recurring. And then now in Latin America, it's too small yet, but I'm expecting about, let's say from September, October, I'm expecting a few hundred a month that will add. And then up to eventually next year, maybe two, 3,000 a month down the road by the end of next year. So that's literally bonus because we have two or three different distributors in Latin America and Central America. And the potential is to get about two, 3,000 new, new users per month just from there. Uh, so, you know, maybe in the US by then we'll do a lot more, but that that's nice to have, right? That's basically bonus users. That's stuff that doesn't cost anything to us because our operations in Latin America are very affordable and uh, everything is just pure revenue that comes to us, no cost. Uh, in terms of if somebody says, well, why would I not go to Gmail, let's say, which is free? Well, I recommend some of you guys to watch me on TV. I'm on Newsmax TV every Sunday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern. You can also go to Newsmax TV on their YouTube and go back to that time. You can rewind. And I have two things that I do. One of them is a secure segment where we talk about the hack of the week and then you'll understand why you don't want to uh, use those free services because they basically steal your data, they resell it, and then eventually that gets you hacked, right? So that costs you headache, identity theft, and as a business, definitely it'll cost you money. IBM had a study that a business that's hacked, I think is costing them about $5 million on average uh, when they get hacked in terms of lost revenue, real monetary loss. And as a business, you not only have a responsibility to yourself and your employee, but to your customers too, there's there's regulation. Like you have to protect your customer's data, your communication. So there's a lot more rules out there. But as a person, when I started, everybody said, nobody's gonna pay for this. Well, we have people paying every hour they buy and they pay for the service because they just want their privacy and they also want that security as well, right? So privacy now and security is kind of meshed into one slowly, slowly but slowly, you know, before it was just about security. Well, that's a vague term, but privacy is a big thing. It's something that's very close to us. We want our privacy. Uh, we have no privacy anywhere. So people are tired of getting these ads about something when they wrote about it on an email a couple of minutes before and then you have Google pushing an ad about one of the things they wrote about on an email to someone. So it tells you it's literally your entire content is spied on and they make tremendous amount of money. 96% of Google's money comes from advertising. So, you know, I'm not saying everybody will buy secure, but we identified roughly the market in the US would be 70 million people that could potentially buy one of our products. So that's what we're focusing on. When it comes to businesses, there's 30 million SMBs, probably at least 5 million of them are uh, probable to buy our product. So that will be our focus. Now a business has minimum five employees, so that can add up. You get you know, half a million businesses down the right, that's two and a half million users. That's, uh, that's 25 million plus in revenue every month. Right, so that, that's massive and that's the goal. The goal is to build up and to laser focus to the target that we have. And that's just the US. We have requests internationally now in Europe, in Germany, in Italy, I and mean, it's just nonstop. Latin America is picking up. So, so that's one thing. There's people who are willing to pay, even individual, because they just don't want to be hacked and they want privacy. As a business, 
they definitely want the security. They also want the benefit of the secure send feature. We have amazing uh, security and privacy feature. Uh, people don't want to use WhatsApp anymore, right? They want to have that privacy. They want to accept who they want in their group. They want to be able to chat with anybody, not just people who have WhatsApp, right? So, and then the second question, what prevents us from data mining you? First of all, our, our DNA, like our culture is not that. The legal system in Switzerland that we're under will prevent us to do that without your knowledge, right? And then, and your approval as well, it's very strict. And uh, on top of that, the way we encrypt the data is so tight that we can't really see into what you're doing that much. So that's another thing. But the most important, let's say a business decision is that if we do that as well, then we completely commoditize ourselves and we become just like everybody else. And we invite tremendous competition because that doesn't make us special anymore, right? So we have a legal, we have a moral obligation, a legal obligation, a technical difficulty doing it, and a big business reason not to do it because we're like the old fashioned Swiss bank. You know, we wanna maintain that privacy. We charge you and you're guaranteed to have that privacy that we don't data mine you. It's, it's really what creates, you call it DNA, I call it your moat. When I look yeah. at secure, this is what this is what separates you from everybody else. It, it's what makes it uh, one of these businesses when you know you step back and say, well, can't somebody else just come in here and just offer the same thing as secure? The answer is an astounding no, they can't because you guys have built this ecosystem. That's why you don't need to be in such a rush. You can build these clients and you can do it the right way. And I call it claw back people's mm -hmm. data for them because you know for the last 20 years of the internet era people have just given the, given away their data and in most cases inadvertently and i yeah. think people are finding out now that the the whims of those ways and me as a business owner now elaine uh, i will be switching to secure i'm already sold because i'm tired of being on whatsapp which is supposed to be a private group and i have solicitations come in there into my group elaine I owe it to the people in my group that have pledged a loyalty to me and I to them to provide them private and, and secure uh, environment. And what does that mean anymore? It's as if there are no barriers. You no. guys rebuild there's those barriers for people. And I also wanna to touch on people think that Gmail is free. When you're getting so much spam to fill up your accounts so quickly yeah, and you've true. got to upgrade, you've got to upgrade to your two yeah. or three dollars a month anyway. No, thank you. I'll opt for secure all day. And what I'm buying when I, I'm really looking forward for your suite of uh, the things that you've got rolling out here with the app and the things that I'm closely monitoring with you guys. Um, I, I think you've got a home run and, and I've been following Lee, uh, intimately following your story. And I think you're solving a, a much bigger problem for both individuals and business. And I, I just, I commend you for your efforts. And for me, it defines your moat. It really does. It sets you apart uh, from the rest. Uh, Elaine, we're going on about 30 minutes here on the interview. I, I want to leave you last word here. This is riveting. I didn't need to say a whole lot. You are all over social media. It's as if there are six of you out there. You are the hardest working guy I've ever seen. And I, I want to thank you for taking the time to come on here. But I also want to leave you with the last word. Make sure that if there's any soft spots in your message that we have not touched on, that you make sure that the would-be community and the independent investor uh, is brought, is uh, uh, provided clarity on that. So Elaine, I'll give you the last word. Thank you, Ryan. And I encourage everyone to go to secure.com. Take a look at the videos that we have on the support tutorial. For example, we don't require your phone number. So first you have to buy an account from us, then you can go to iOS, Android, download, or just go on the web and use it without an app if you don't if you're not comfortable using apps even though ours doesn't uh, record or store any kind of metadata of any sort but let's say you just want to go on the web you can use all our services on a web-based system uh, we'd never require your phone number so that eliminates the hackers already coming in we got a lot of good stuff but the one thing is that thanks yeah i, I it's like having six of me i'm the largest shareholder in the company 
and I'm your best friend as a shareholder because I want to protect us, the shareholders, uh, from anything over dilution, you know, um, you know, reckless spending, you name it. So I am the most concerned. Uh, also, I don't take any management fees or salaries. You can look at it on our financials. Yep. That's a given. I encourage everybody to, if you're interested in investing in cybersecurity, invest in privacy, and you're looking at a tech company today, a lot of them came back to earth, right? Some of them are still overvalued. This is a good company for the long term. So this is not a typical trading stock. I'm sure you can trade it. But if you believe that, hey, privacy is a big thing and it's going to be more and more valuable, then this is a company to invest, especially at these valuation. If you go to securedprivatedata.com, which is our corporate site, we have a brand new FRC research. They have a target of $1.16 Canadian, is about 90 cents US, I think. And yep. what I like about it, not the target so much, I mean, it's amazing, but what I like is a report that really dissects everything about us, the competition, the market. It's a great educational piece. So the last thing, if you want to buy secure the product, I'm going to throw a promo code out there that's going to give you 15%. So you go to secure.com, S-E-K-U-R.com, you register, and when it asks you if you have a promo code, you put secure15, S-E-K-U-R-1-5. It's not case sensitive. You get 15% for a year, whether you buy monthly or yearly. The yearly plan gives you an extra 17% off. And, uh, and that's it. Take a look at us. Uh, we're going places. This is a solid company with a very um, specific roadmap that we are following to the T. So I encourage you to definitely invest in privacy and invest in secure. If you have never heard of this company before this interview, I would invite you to the website. I'm going to provide that in the link uh, in the description and in the comment section below. Click over there. Spend five minutes educating yourself up on, on this. If you are unaware of what's going on in the landscape right now, take a look at this literature. Take a look at the news releases. Catch an interview with Elaine. He'll bring you right up on your knowledge about what's going on right now in the landscape and the solutions that are being brought to bear from secure private data. Elaine, thank you so much on behalf of the channel for your time. We really appreciate it, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, everyone, for watching.